Uh, mother of a child killed in a deadly school bus crash in Tennessee told CBS that the driver asked if the kids were ready to die moments before the crash. Uh, Chattanooga police arrested the bus driver, 24 year old Jan Anthony Walker, and charged him with five counts of vehicular homicide. Five children died in that crash. A law enforcement official says that Walker was driving well above the 30 mile an hour speed limit on a narrow, winding road. Federal investigators are examining the video from the bus camera. The deadly bus crash has renewed the debate about seat belts in school buses. Chris Van Cleve shows us how money has played a part in this issue. We know that seat belts will save lives if we put one for every kid on every school bus. We the head of the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration like says three point seat belts, like the ones in your car that go across the shoulder and the waist, should be on every school bus. But there's no federal mandate. Six states require seat belts on school buses, but only California meets the NHTSA recommendation. Administrator Mark Rosekind says his agency has been weighing whether to mandate belts on school buses for four decades. And we're not denying this is going to be a challenge, but we're looking at everything from research to funding to figure out how to help everybody nationwide get their kids even safer. NHTSA estimates four children die every year in large school bus crashes. It believes seat belts would reduce those deaths by half. This seatbelt manufacturer's rollover test shows the impact of a crash on unbuckled children. The belts are good, and they are certainly very good in a rollover where you might be ejected if you didn't have that belt. Last year, NHTSA predicted it would cost between $7,300 and $10,000 to retrofit each school bus with seatbelts. With an estimated half million school buses in service, the cost would be in the billions. Administrator Rosekind suggested new buses could come off the assembly line standard with seatbelts. The manufacturers could do this on their own starting now. NHTSA says in part because of the cost, it could take up to a decade or more, if ever, to get a regulation in place requiring seatbelts. The NTSB believes three-point seatbelts would improve school bus safety. Chris Van Cleve, CBS News, Washington. In Minnesota, the inside of large school buses must be federally regulated to protect children without the need of them buckling up. And this can be done with strong, closely spaced seats with a 24-inch height and energy-absorbing foam seat backs.